everyone, Gary Simon here of designcourse.com. Adobe has released its new CC 2015 update. And one of the updates I'm excited about, and it's gonna make life a little bit easier, is multiple instances of layer styles within the same layer. So traditionally in the past, let's say for example, you wanted to have two or three different strokes applied onto the same object. You would have to replicate that layer two or three different times and apply the stroke in different widths. So basically now you can use the same layer and have multiple layer styles and multiple instances of the different styles that you have. So let me show you exactly how to use this new feature. All right, so we'll just go to file new real quickly. I'm just gonna leave the width and height 860 by 600 that fits well within my current resolution and 72, all that good stuff, transparent background, yada, yada. All right, so uh, basically what we wanna do is to illustrate these multiple instances of layer styles. Uh, I'm gonna use a text layer. So I'm just gonna left click and we're just gonna type in fantastic. All right, so hit control T, scale this thing up a bit just so we can see what's happening. And hit control one to get to 100% and here we go. Uh, before we get to the layer styles, let's go ahead and just add a little bit of warp text onto it. So I'm gonna choose flag, I think. There we go, nothing too drastic, hit okay. And this is where the fun begins. So uh, we're gonna right click. And traditionally, when we wanted to add multiple strokes, for example, we would have to add, duplicate rather, these la this layer over here, like multiple times and then add the stroke that way. Um, this way, everything here, we can see these new plus signs, which is excellent. Uh, by default, I see that there's like three already here, but this must be because I was previously experimenting it with it and it saved uh, the previous uh, settings basically. So if you wanna delete these ones that are extra here, you can just select them and hit this trash icon. So let's go ahead and give this a drop shadow. And by default, we could see, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna move this just down and up so that I have enough room to show you the full dialog box and the design. All right, so let's go ahead and I'm gonna make this uh, just for now a light blue, actually a little bit darker just so we can see it. Distance, we're gonna take this in maybe right around seven. All right, and then we're gonna make it white. And then we're gonna go ahead and hit this plus sign, which basically duplicates what we have here. And because it's white, we can't see it. But this one's underneath it, and so what we could do now as take this color and let's increase the distance just by a little bit. Maybe just by 10. Yeah, what was it, seven before? Yeah, seven. Let's try it, uh, let's just double it by 14. All right, and we'll go ahead in this one, we'll take the opacity. Now yeah, maybe instead of doing opacity, we'll just come over here, make it that color. Now let's do this one more time here or maybe two more times rather. This time 14, we'll say 21, and we'll make it white, and then do another one, make this one, I think maybe we'll just come out here, and this one we'll do 28. And you can see exactly how easy this is to add really interesting sorts of effects without having to duplicate the layer or replicate it multiple times. So you can do this not on every layer style, obviously, only on the ones that have the plus. So when it comes to inner shadows, stroke, color overlay, gradients, and now a gradient overlay multiplied here a couple times would probably need to rely on either using special blend modes or transparent gradient so you can see the other gradient that you're applying. But that is pretty much it. Uh, so let me play around with this a little bit more. We'll do inside maybe. Take this color here, maybe make it slightly like that. Yeah, and there we go. One single layer and you can see they're all noted right here and you can experiment by hiding some of them or 
showing them. And of course, what's great is in the past, if you were working with a type layer like this and you had all of these strokes and you had to replicate it, the layer itself so many times you wanted to change the check text. Well, you only have to do it with one layer now, fortunately. You scale it down, everything works well. All right, so that is it. That's definitely a huge improvement to the workflow of Adobe Photoshop. So check out designcourse.com if you haven't yet and subscribe here on YouTube. All right, goodbye.